We're really excited to talk with you today. Um, but before we get into the meat of the, the podcast, I believe you enjoy drinking beer. Am I right on that? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound very convincing. I know you are. Um, a, or I know you do. That was, a, that was an understated <laughs> sell. That was an understated sell. Well, uh, we asked our user testing contributors who also enjoy an adult beverage every now and again to uncover some of the beer that they like, as well as what they think about some of the trends around craft beer heading into 2023. So let's take a look at what they said. What type of beers do we have in the house right now? Well, right now I have, um, well, I have Voodoo. IPA, IPAs. And it's uh, Three Floyds Zombie Dust. And then we have All Day IPA. I have some wheat, light beers. Um, I prefer sours. So I have one of those right now from Trim Tab Brewery, which is in Birmingham, near where I live. And um, I have some Guinness. Um, so right now I have uh, just... A six pack of um, Blue Moon. Right now, all I have is like some crappy Modelo in my fridge. Let's see, I have um, Silent Neighbor Stout from Atlas Brew Works. And I also have a Flying Dog Cookies and Cream Stout right now. And Bell's Oberon, a uh, summer wheat ale that I'm still trying to get before it is discontinued for the rest of the year. When was the last time you drank a rose beer, sour beer, or non-alcoholic craft beer, or a CBD oil-infused craft beer? Um, so I would say the last time, I don't even know if this would be considered a sour beer. I did a cider this weekend um, just to try it. It was a pineapple cider. Um, you know, accidentally when I was... Um taking my friends home some beer it it turned out to be this rose some of these beer types and uh didn't have um there was a non-alcoholic and we realized after this was an accident though uh never had a rose beer do not drink non-alcoholic and haven't tried cbd oil infused craft beer yet i've never tried any of them um Although I would be very interested in a CBD oil-infused craft beer. That that would be interesting. Um, it's been a while, if I have. Um, I've not had non-alcoholic craft beers. I usually have alcoholic ones. When you buy craft beer for home consumption, how important is it to you to buy from a local brewer? Very important. Um, DC has a growing uh, craft brew scene, and... I'm more than happy to um, buy craft beer from any local brewery in the nation's capital. But again, I tend to lean more on um, local beers, um, like to try the different craft beers in the area, IPAs and all that good stuff. Um, right now, I'm really into hazy IPAs. A regular IPA is okay, but a hazy is just a little bit more in my wheelhouse. I'm glad you asked me this question. It actually makes me want to go grab a beer. So I definitely can agree with that last contributor about uh, wanting to go get a beer after talking about all those different types of beers. Is it too early for that, Kai? What do you think? Never too early for a beer. It depends on what kind of beer. Like, I like to start the day with a nice Hefeweizen, maybe a Weinstefan, and then you go from there. So it's, uh, it's not a question of what time it is. It's a question of what beer you drink. I, I love the uh, the relationships these people have with the beer. So for me, like I'm from Michigan, and Bell's is a Michigan brewer, and so it was exciting to hear somebody mention one of the micro brews that that I like from where I grew up. So it's really like kind of fun to listen to people talk about small brewers and and small brewing, and just sort of the affinity people had was was pretty neat. Yeah, and also how I mean I know it was a small group of people we heard from, but a lot of those trends, um, the the, the different types of beer, the non-alcoholic beer, the CBD infused beer. Like a, a lot of people hadn't tried any of those new ones. And it, it's an interesting pattern, right? Like people are kind of stick with their, with what they know, um, with what they like, and maybe don't want to try new alternatives. Probably a little bit of a generalization, but that kind of stuck out to me. 
But I also find it fascinating. You could not have had this conversation 20 years ago. Like when I came to the US 25 years ago, you were hard pressed to find any drinkable beer, let alone any variety. And now we have all these different kinds and all these microbreweries and all this passion around beer. And, and American brewing has gone from being like the laughing stock to being the, the shining light. If you go to any sophisticated beer pubs in Europe now, more than half of the beers are American craft brews. I think it's fantastic how far this industry have, has come with, with passion and with enthusiasm, which I think is something we can all learn from.